What is going on, guys? I'm up Charles, and today I'm going to be talking about the next Killzone game, which I said I would. And basically, I'm going to bring you my wish list for the next Killzone game, which is either going to be Shadowfall 2 or Killzone 4. I'm not really sure what it's going to be called, but I expect that. And hopefully, well, the title doesn't matter, but hopefully my some of my wishes will be, I guess, granted in the next Killzone game whenever that comes out. And basically, I'm going to start off with the controls, because I would like to see higher sensitivity options, because right now, Shadowfall, I play with 100%, and it's still really slow for me. It's not quick enough compared to something like Battlefields or Call of Duty, so I would like to see them increase the sensitivity in Killzone 4 or Shadowfall 2, whatever it's going to be called. I guess I'll just stick with Killzone 4. Because it makes more sense to me. So yeah. Basically I would like to see higher sensitivities in Killzone 4. I would also like to see them give you the option to change the button layout on the controls basically. Because I like to play with what is being called tactical in Call of Duty. I like to play with that button layout where you basically melee with circle and go crouch with R3. So... I would like to see that in Killzone as well. I mean, Battlefield even has it. I think it's called Classic. I can't remember. But yeah, that is something I would like to see in Killzone as well. And also, I would also like to see them add in prone with what the game in general, actually. Because you can't go prone in Killzone, which I didn't know. I mean, you can go crouch, but I was surprised that you couldn't go prone, to be honest. And I just realized that for a few weeks ago when I started to go crouch a little bit and tried to hold it down to go prone so i would like to see them add that into the game as well and also i would like to see them add up a new creator class system as call of duty because now i'm mostly a call of duty player so i might have a lot of inspiration from call of duty right now but it is what it is i guess it's my opinion and it's what would make me play I guess the next Killzone game more, so feel free to disagree and stuff like that. But basically, I would like them to get rid of loadout system or class system that they currently have with support and sergeant and I don't really know what they are called in Shadowfall, but in Killzone 3, marksman, medic, infiltrator, tactician, engineer, and all those others in Killzone 2 and stuff. Can't remember each class, but Basically, you should get the point now, and I would like to see them get rid of that system and introduce it like Call of Duty does it, or Uncharted 4 for this matter, with a pick 10 system, or I don't even know what the highest is in Uncharted 4, 25 or something like that, or 22, that's what I have currently. But yeah, basically I would like to see them add in a system where you can only choose the primary, the secondary, the equipment, and abilities which is hopefully going to be introduced as perks in kills the next killzone game which is what i said i would call killzone 4 so hopefully they will do that and introduce kill streaks because i don't like turrets being given out to players that have that certain class equipped with that certain ability if they have to include those things include it as kill streaks add a few more and Maybe you take some inspiration from past Killzone games. And what I mean with that is mostly just going to be Mercenary. I can't remember what it was called in Mercenary either. So, well, Vanguard, I think that is. No, is it? I, I can't remember. But basically, I would like them to add in Killstreaks with maybe some inspiration from there and make some new one. Like, I'm not sure if, that, if there is something like this, but a UAV would be nice. And all those things, a counter UAV would what jammer to the minimap for the enemies and stuff like that and also add in some more equipment i mean frag grenades semtex and incendiary i'm pretty sure they are in the game i'm not 100 percent though sure about it but add some more and add many many more weapons into it as well because killzone doesn't have many weapons and that is just in general from my experience with Killzone 2, 3 and Shadowfall, it doesn't seem like it has that many weapons. So I would like them well, I would like to see them add more weapons and add more customization for the character and also for the weapons. Add in weapon camos. Because I would love to have Arctic camos or snowy 
a winter cat moose on my guns because that is my favorite I guess theme of camos and yeah that is something I would like to see them add in and also character customization because I like that in Call of Duty Ghost and Advanced Warfare you could choose the shoes and body and well in Advanced Warfare with the exo suit but in Ghost you could choose the body and stuff like that which was pretty nice I mean I would like to see them add something in like that that could be cool and obviously don't make it ridiculous though well the way Call of Duty is approaching it but try and make it more realistic I guess for the Killzone universe that could be nice I guess action I know but yeah that's just me then next up would be separate the extended war zone game modes into single playlist game modes because Killzone lacks game modes in general that's just how it is I mean Killzone 2, Killzone 3 and Shadowfall doesn't have many game modes and the same goes with Mercenary and that is something that really makes it easier to find matches in those few game modes or playlists but then again I really just get bored of only playing straight out Domination and Team Deathmatch I would like to see something like they do in Call of Duty with having gun game having a defender or frontline which is new team defender was also a thing in Modern Warfare 3 drop zone one in the chamber all those things I would like to see some different game modes in Killzone as well that's what my that's my main point with this so hopefully they will add some in and separate those in well war zone that there now is and make them as a single playlist for each game mode so that you have a bigger variety of game modes to choose from because it's the same thing with Uncharted 4 right now in the multiplayer I don't play it because I can only play team deathmatch and it is really boring because I don't really get that many kills and the time to kill feels really slow right now because I'm used to Call of Duty so I haven't played it that much lately of this month or two but yeah basically I haven't played Uncharted 4 in a while in terms of multiplayer and story well it might make sense with the story but multiplayer wise I haven't played it even though I enjoy it it's just not fun to play the same game mode all the time so that is something I would like to see with Killzone as well adding in more game modes because it, it's just not enough I mean even Kill Confirmed could be interesting just something different but yeah that's that would also like to see more small to medium sized maps because Shadowfall has a little bit too big maps for me. I still get a lot of close quarter combat though, but the maps are just a little bit too big to really run over to those combat zones in the maps. And that is really annoying. I mean, you could use the spawn beacon, but it's just not everyone that uses it, and I don't really use it that much either. So I would like to see them at more small maps. And yeah, I would also like to see them add in the abilities or keep them but make them only as abilities like the teleporting thing the supply box should do it like battlefield 4 for example that's a great example because i don't really like to hold down circle just to pick up some ammo and stuff like that med kit maybe but balance it out so that yeah, well so you can equip med kit and ammo pack or box and yeah use the same revive system as shadowfall because Shadowfall has a great revive system I really like and that is something I would love to see as an ability returning but get rid of turrets and stuff like that I'd also like to see maybe some air streaks as well that could be nice I mean like you can control some air streaks like the, well, what would make sense in a kill some universe I'm not sure but make a chopper gunner for example that could be fun I think for me at least and make the maps more open so that they don't have that many buildings all the time that would be useful for the chopper gun and then but yeah add in a perk section maybe as well like uncharted for call of duty for example with the well less flinch or faster reloads not that i really want to see that but just something and yeah add in scavenger and something like blind eye so that they won't be able to see you maybe if you run that perk or whatever but basically add in some more well, this is purely based on call of duty for the most part but yeah do that that would be nice and 
is there anything else I really need to say about the next Killzone game? I'm, I'm really not sure what else I really want to say because I want to make this as short as possible. I mean, my past attempts have taken me over 30 minutes and 20 minutes, so I'm gonna... To be honest, I'm really surprised that it has only taken me 12 minutes in total right now. And this is even as it is raw right now, so I don't... I'm not really sure how long this is gonna turn out as the edited final version, but we'll see. It's definitely gonna be interesting, but yeah, I would like to see more of those things and with what I just mentioned and a more stable frame rate would also be nice to see in Killzone 4 because it is noticeable with the frame drops even in Shadowfall sometimes, so well, that hopefully Guerrilla Games can do that. I mean, I wonder how stable Horizon Zero Dawn is gonna turn out to be because it really looks beautiful and I'm pretty sure those graphical demanding things in that game really takes down the frame rates in some way or another unless it's a 30 fps game i hope not but yeah hopefully guerrilla games can make it 60 fps stable like on Charlotte 4 then because i don't mind playing a 30 fps campaign if that's the case to make it more stable in multiplayer so hopefully Guerrilla Games could learn something from there, that could be nice. Maybe use the mystery box system as well again for the next Killzone game, but don't make it like Call of Duty. But just make the Valor system being kept intact and put in some, I guess, exclusive customization things only, uh, cosmetic items basically, and yeah, add some different camos and skins into it, that could be cool. And then you can use Valor to purchase whatever you want. Because, yeah, adding in some boosters and stuff like that. But basically, emblems, calling cards and stuff like that. And yeah, I think that's all I had to say for the next Killzone game. So hopefully you viewers enjoyed it. And I probably have forgotten some points. But I just can't come up with them right off the top of my head just like that right now. So hope you viewers enjoyed it. And hopefully you agree with some points and disagree with a lot because that could be interesting to discuss but basically i would say this is from my opinion and perspective pretty much call of duty inspired for in most cases or if not all so it might change up kills onto into a card copy or something like that but it's what i would like to see and it's why i keep playing call of duty today because it's, I really like it for some reason. I don't even know why I keep coming back with the campaign. But I don't really know why I keep coming back into the multiplayer though. Because even though I really see a lot of BS into each year's Call of Duty games. I still come back and play it because it's fun. Would like to see, by the way, that daily lock and bonus thing keep coming back in future games as well. Shadowfall has it. Would like to see that coming back into the next Killzone game as well. Maybe let you get some mystery boxes sometimes as well that could be fun if you log in like five days in a row or whatever but yeah basically that's some ideas for my oh not some ideas but that's my wish list for the next killzone game hopefully we will see another killzone game soon that's something i really would like to see after Horizon zero dawn who knows but for now i hope you viewers enjoyed it and hopefully you will join me on my next video